currently in Norway at uh, Leo's house. Leo from Frog Leap Studios, I'm here with Hannah, and we are here for Larvik Guitar Festival. Once again, we came last year, got to play, whereas this year, I'm here as a guest. So I get to chill and uh, watch Steve Vai go through Govan, get to see Rob's new band perform, Nick Johnston, Leo, Ola England, loads of cool stuff is happening. So really excited to just hang out, have some fun. And I tell you what, it is really cold out here, as you can see, and hopefully from the footage I've got, you see that it's just snowy mountains and awesomeness. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful all the same. If you ever get a chance to come to the fjords in Norway, I recommend it, because it's just stunning. So yeah, having a great time, recording some guitar, having some fun. So hope you enjoy this video. and poor trained. So close. It was close. Close but no cigarillo. Maybe not do the overtone on that. Um, so. Not that. Yeah, I think you have a couple of those, maybe. I don't know. You don't want me to do it. Okay, cool. Maybe. Kind of fucked that up. What's this? Want to hear it? No, I definitely made a mistake because okay. I keep bending the wrong note. It's, it's there. And I'm going. So I'm having to bend ah, yeah, extra okay. far. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what do you think? Hmm. We're heading to Larvik from, we stayed with Leo and Stina overnight, which was really cool. And now we're driving to Larvik. We've done like an hour and a half, I think, in the car. We've got another four hours left, something like that. It's cool, good company. It's a beautiful drive. Look at this. Um, in need of a coffee now. beautiful girlfriend Hannah. I'm here to show my love and support for Rob because he is doing yeah. his first solo band performance as a Rob Chapman band. 
at Live at Guitar Festival 2018. Bia's been backstage calming me down because I got really nervous. I've been the calming energy in the room. The fro sorts out. It's like chamomile tea in <laughs> hair form. <laughs> However, we also learned that Rob is, uh, he's doing something pretty exciting tomorrow. He's interviewing Steve Vai. In the vein of calming you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the vein Here's of calming you down. Here's the thing that you're really nervous about that I'm going to bring up again. He's interviewing Steve Vai, but on top of interviewing him, he has to jam with him during the interview. And then in the evening, he's going to be jamming with Steve. They're going to go on soon, so let's go and check it out. Yeah, hello. <laughs> So I'm gonna go and find a good spot. Have a fucking great one. Thanks. Really, I you, yeah, I love you too, dude. Absolutely, man. It wouldn't be anywhere else right now. Guys, I'm really excited and honoured to announce the Rob Chapman Band. This is a uh, first ever gig, and um, and as such, you probably won't have heard any of this material before. Thank you so much for watching us and being here. Here's a plectrum. Here's another plectrum. Here's another plectrum. Here's another one as well. Good morning, everyone. Hope you slept well. I certainly did. So, today, Rob is jamming with Steve Vai. He's interviewing Steve Vai. He's scared. I would be if I was Rob, but I'm not, so I get to watch Rob be scared. Uh, what am I doing? I'm playing with Leo, playing Africa. Um, today on his performance at about 1.30. It's currently 11.30, so I've got a couple of hours doing a bit of warming up, just hanging out, playing a bit of guitar. I've got my um, ML3 beer baritone with me. It's Leo's, actually. Uh, and I fitted a bare knuckle juggernaut to it before we came down, uh, sounding pretty fat. Um, just generally gonna hang out and uh, enjoy the day. I'm gonna go down to the spa with Hannah, 
but it's nice, no pressure. Don't have to do anything scary. Just get to enjoy myself, be a guitar player, and have some good times out here. So um, yeah, gonna film more stuff. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. So just walking to the venue now, actually just bumped into Guthrie Govan and uh, oddly enough as we are both quite familiar with Mr Martin Kidd at Victory and we've done work to run different amps with Martin, we've never actually you know, had a good chat, had to talk to each other about stuff so it's actually really nice to chat to him and uh, just find out about his gig with Hans and just generally chill so yeah it was nice, he's a really nice guy and um, a scarily good guitar player. I mean, you know, he needs no introduction, but I'm really looking forward to seeing him play. To be honest, one of the most down-to-earth, humble musicians at that level I've ever met. So, you know, it's really, really nice to know that you can be incredible and not an arsehole. <laughs> so, so I don't have to jam during the interview. They haven't got time. Okay, good. It's just a shame. But it's fine. You were right. mentally prepared. I was totally prepared to do it, yeah. But um, I've exchanged a few words with Steve. He's oh, totally yeah. nice. Yeah. Really, really great guy. Nice. And, um, and yeah, I get to jam an evening. So I'm just setting my hand with my pedal board up. And getting my guitar. Good. So we're about to go on. Leo is about to go on. I'm gonna be. It's all right. You have to look like you're ready to be a YouTubing sensation metal guy. He's about to go. I'm. I get called up in a bit. Okay. Can you give us a big cheer for From Leeds Studios? Thanks for having me and uh, we're going to play our debut concert in Stavanger, 12th of May. So if you want to come and see a full band at night, once drinking beer, you should come. Thank you so much. I think that was the shortest gig I've ever played in my life. Jumped up on stage, played Africa as heavily as possible and uh, then got off. So pretty fast. What was interesting was I strung Leo's guitar with... 72 gauge on the bottom because that's all he had a 72 gauge with that kind of pick is pretty intense when you're trying to pick fast and uh, in the last section of the song where it's really heavy my pick literally s swung round so I was holding it from the rounded edge so it was having no attack no noise and it just kind of went like that it was fun and now me and Hannah are gonna go and Chill in the spa. Spa life, yeah. Uh, get some lunch and uh, come back for Nick Johnston, Guthrie, and Steve Vai. So, yeah. You might want your thumb to creep up to the top of the neck. So, is, is this the correct hand position or is that the correct hand position? The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, some stuff to think about. I hope you can find a way to apply some of that philosophy to what you do. Backstage at the Larvik Guitar Festival, jamming on Little Wing. 
which I love, but for some reason, in my infinite wisdom, decided never to learn because I couldn't project my mind forwards and realize that I would be jamming with Jan Ackerman and Steve Vai playing a little thing. Uh, I didn't have, uh, my guitar was set up with 11 to 60s for slide and the Rob Chatton stuff. And um, I didn't have the forethought to bring any regular gauge strings because I'm playing in standard. So thankfully my buddy Guthrie Govan gave me a set of um, rotor sound strings that I'm using these 10 to 46s. So I'm in regular tuning, regular strings, uh, and then I realised that Jimmy plays with a little wing and E flat. <laughs> so it's just a day of adjusting to change. I like the fact that I just spent 90 minutes on stage interviewing one of my biggest idols of all time, Steve Vai, and it was such an amazing experience. And he was exactly how you want your idols to be. He was humble, he was kind, he was gracious, he was incredibly skillful, and um, it was just, it was a magical experience. It was the kind of thing that you just dream of and it just happened that it was amazing. Um, and I really wish it had been filmed so that you could witness some of the fitness that occurred because we were taught, I thought, okay, forget all the gear questions. We decided just not to talk about, you know, plectrums or strings, cables, guitars, amplifiers, uh, all that kind of thing. And instead, composition and who his, what his favourite albums are and just talk about music and the creation of it and um, it was just the best, one of the best things I've ever been through other than the birth of my child and getting married to Natasha. <laughs> now I will spend hours learning these two tunes that I have to jam with Steve and yeah, wish me luck. trip to Larvik and I had a great time thank you Leo for having me and basically it was really fun what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing I just wanted to see what you were filming <laughs> <laughs> that was Rob taking a shit, um, in the hotel room <laughs> which you just witnessed that's how bros we are that we can do that together anyway I wanted to say thank you Leo and uh, Anders from Lavic Guitar Festival for having me and Hannah and huge 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 respect and proudness goes to my bro Rob for hanging out with Steve Vai and jamming and doing all that cool stuff so I hope you enjoyed the video I am now in New York City with Rob about to do some clinics for Guitar Center um, so I'm gonna be vlogging that there's gonna be a documentary style thing on uh, the Chapman Guitars YouTube channel I'm gonna do a little edit on my own channel but uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all very soon <laughs>